Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be filming a little shop my stash type of video. So I dived into my collection, I took out products that I haven't used in a very 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 long time. Some of them are a couple years I haven't used them and I created this look. So if you guys like this look and you want to see how I created it, then please continue watching. So this is my little project pan bin and I only have two primers and they're both in my project pan so today I'm just going to use the Hemish Glow Base and for foundation I have one foundation in here and then I only have these four in my collection. I'm thinking either the Hourglass or the Urban Decay because I haven't used these two in a very long time. I always use these two so... Maybe I'll go for the Hourglass one because that's been a while. The concealer, these are all my concealers here. I think I will pick the... I think I'll go with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer today. I haven't used that one in a while but I probably will use a bit of my Too Faced one. For powder... Mm, I think I'll go with the Bare Minerals one. Even though this is like a powder foundation, I'll just use a little bit of this to set my face. I haven't used this one in a very long time, so we'll add that one in. As for my eyeshadow, I have to go into these drawers here. These are all of the palettes that are not ColourPop, and I haven't used a lot of these in a long time. And I already have a look in mind and also a palette in mind, and I'm going to use my Born to Run palette. It's been a while since I've used this, and I really enjoy this. I want to create a really peachy look, and that peach shadow there still shot. I think that will come in handy. So I'm gonna go in with this one. I might take Shishimi City as well. There's like a really nice brown in there that I think will go for the look. So we're gonna use this one. And then this section is my extra cheek products that are not ColourPop. So this entire drawer here is like my non ColourPop stuff. And then pretty much this drawer here is literally almost all ColourPop. Um, we're gonna look for a bronzer. I don't really have that many bronzers, honestly. I use the same ones. Um, maybe the e.l.f. one or the Essence one. Let me open this one up. Okay, I think I'll go for the e.l.f. bronzing palette. I don't use this one that much either. For blush, honestly, I don't have a lot of blushes that are not ColourPop. This blush is nice. It's a nice orangey color. Um, but maybe... I'll use this Milani one. I'll take both of these and maybe mix the two. For highlight, I do just want something quite subtle. So, hmm. I'll actually go in with these uh, Smashbox Spotlight palettes. This was in collaboration with Casey Holmes, but I think they still have this available. So I'm going to use this. It's been so many years since I've touched this, so let's use this for highlighter today. As for my lip color, I was thinking of using a Lux lipstick since I haven't used one in so long. I'm just going to take a couple shades because I don't know what I'm exactly going to be doing and how the look will turn out and I like having options, but let's take some Lux lipsticks because it's definitely been a while since I've used this formulation. Okay, so I have all of my products laid out in front of me. I feel like we have a really good selection. A lot of these products I have not used in a very long time, some of them in a couple years. So I'm excited to start playing with all of these new products. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into it. Let's go in with primer. As you can tell, I actually don't have a lot of like base products. Um, a lot of my collection is definitely ColourPop and it's a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Like I only I have five foundations in my collection. I only have two primers, a couple concealers. So I picked out the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This used to be my holy grail. I think it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a bit dark on me. Um, this is a shade Sand, and this is actually my second tube. Like I said, it was my holy grail foundation at one point, I think in 2018. I loved it. I still do. I just think. You know, this shade specifically is too dark on me, so I can't really use it as much as I would like. I haven't used a brush for my foundation in a while either. But yeah, this one is going to be a little bit dark. And you guys know, I've been loving more of a natural finish, like a light finish of a foundation. This one I would say is like quite buildable, medium to full. Maybe it's just my 
foundation because it is a bit old. Do you find it a little bit hard to blend out? Like I feel like I'm really dragging my skin, which is not a good thing. The concealer I picked out for today is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I wear the shade Light Beige. Um, I remember this concealer working really quickly. Like, I wouldn't leave this on my skin because it's just going to set so quick. I'm just going to use this under my eyes and then I think I'll just go in with my Too Faced Concealer for the rest of my face because this is extremely light. Uh, so we'll just apply a little dot here and a little dot there and I'm going to quickly go blend that out because this I feel sets so quick and I've kept this concealer just because I want to review the hydrating ones and I want to be able to compare it this concealer definitely isn't my favorite I do feel like it's a little bit overhyped it's a little drying I feel <laughs> although I do find it drying I do think like the finish of it and the coverage is really nice so I guess if you have like extremely oily skin, then maybe this would be nice for you. I think I just need to try the hydrating camo concealer. It just clings onto dry patches. It's just not a good look. I'm reconsidering. Should I just pass this concealer onto someone else? Because <laughs> it doesn't look good. I'm just gonna go with my Too Faced one. I'm sorry, I can't help it. This is just the best, and I think this one would be too light to spot conceal. I even think my Too Faced one is still a bit too light to spot conceal, but you know, it's okay. The Too Faced one is just so beautiful. It just it doesn't cling on to dry patches. Okay, I'm gonna just stop trying to fix this under eye situation because no matter what I do, it's gonna look the same. Okay, now it's time for powder. I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Original SPF 15 Foundation in the shade Golden and Medium W20. This sounds pretty dark for me too. Oh, yeah, that looks really, really dark. There's a lot in the pan. Oh my gosh. What was the thing that Bare Minerals said? Like you swirl and you dip. Something like that. Swirl. Oh, and tap. I only need a little bit because I'm not using this as foundation. I'm just using this to set my face. And a lot of my older base products is going to be a lot darker than what I am now because over the years I've been like staying home a lot, not even like due to COVID, just like generally life. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and take my Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette taking this shade up here. I'm just gonna lightly dab that underneath my eyes. So I did do my brows off camera as well as one eye just so I could get a feel of the look that I wanted to create. It is something very, very simple as you can tell. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna go in with my eye primer. It's just from Kaleidos. So the first shade I'm gonna take is from the Urban Decay Born to Run. This shade here called Still Shot. And in the pan it does look like a very like brighter coral. But I think once it's on the eyes, it's actually a really nice muted type of pinky coral. And I think this is like a really nice transition shadow. It's not too overpowering and it's been a while since I've used this palette, like I mentioned before. And I don't remember the palette being so like light they're not as like powdery and pigmented like ColourPop shadows they have more of like this sort of buildable formulation to them um, but I do like this shadow and how it's not too bright but it still gives you that corally peach under base gonna take that same shadow onto my lower lash line as well I'm gonna focus it more at the center of my eyes I'm diving into my Kaleidos Shishimi City palette and I'm going to take this shade here called Gourmet. And we're just going to take this on a fluffy brush and just run that at the outer edge of that peach shadow and just give a bit of a yellowness to the look. It's very, very subtle. I feel like you can't really tell too much, but I feel like it does a really great job of just giving a very soft blend here. And you just want to blend that all the way up towards your brow bone. 
I'm gonna go back into the Born to Run palette and I'm gonna take this golden metallic here called Stranded and we're just gonna place that at the center of our lid space. We're just gonna diffuse that out. And then I'm gonna go into this shade here called Good As Gone. This is more of like a cooler tone brown. And I'm gonna take that at the outer corner of my eyes at my lash line. And I'm just gonna do a little wing. Actually, it's not that little. Um, but I did do my wing a little bit different. I try to make it more downturn. I feel like I just don't suit a downturn eyeliner. Every time I do it, I just don't like it. So I did try to make it a little bit more angular. Um, but that's what we're gonna try and do on this eye. I'm then gonna go in with my Artisy in Modestar Eyeliner. I haven't used this one in a long time as well because it's so hard to get in New Zealand that I've been saving this. So I actually haven't used this in a very long time. It's one of my favorite eyeliners. And for my bottom waterline, I'm gonna go in with Honey Dude from ColourPop. This is something that I use a lot, but I feel like it would just help with the eye look. For lashes today, I'm gonna go in with these ones from Kiss Lashes in the style Ritzy. I haven't worn these in a while now. I've been very dedicated to Petite Cosmetics and House of Lashes. I feel like I haven't worn this in a couple months, so we're gonna wear this one today. And for today's mascara, I actually just found this in my top drawer. It's the Winky Luxe So Extra Mascara. I have used this before, like once or twice. And I just want to see if it was dried out and it wasn't. So it's still going strong and I thought I would use it. I'm not too fussy about mascaras, um, but this one is okay, I think. Uh, it does coat the lashes quite well and it gives it like a little bit more thickness to my very sparse lashes. It doesn't really lengthen, it doesn't emphasize the curl that I just gave my lash and you can see on my lower lashes it's just a little bit weak. And today I'll go in with this shade here up in the corner. I am so doughy right now and I don't like this. I don't like how doughy I am. I'm trying to like powder my face down. And I think for blush, I'll go with the NYX one instead of the Milani one because I feel like it's a better match. I actually don't think I've used this. It's their Baked Bronzer and Solstice? Solstice? Ew, that's a bit dark. For highlighter, I'm going to take the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in gold. I would just take the lighter shade here. I'm actually gonna take that into my inner corners as well. This actually used to be my one of my favorite highlighting palettes when I first got it. Okay, but this is really dark. A lot of my older things are really, really dark for me right now. Okay, last and final step, lips. I picked out four Lux lipsticks. They're all kind of similar, aren't they? I think I'll go with this one because it's called K-pop. Alright you guys, so this is the final result for my first Shot My Stash video. I think at the end the look did come together. I actually really do like the look. Um, I think while I was just doing my makeup, the skin was just overwhelming. I think it was first very heavy because I don't think I've done my base this heavy in a very very long time so I was a little bit like whoa. And um, also not the best skin day either so I feel like the dewiness really brought out a little bit of my Texture, but I do like the finish of my skin on camera it looks great, but in person it's a little bit too dewy But nonetheless um, at the end of the day I really do like how this look turned out and it was really fun for me to try out products that I haven't used in a very very long time And hopefully it was fun for you guys to see that I would love to hear your thoughts down below What do you guys think of this final look? What do you guys think of this type of shot my stash video on my channel? I definitely want to do more and dive into more of my products. Thank you so much for watching if you haven't already Please subscribe, come and join the family. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.